So where we put the, the screws through the scope mounting, on the inside of the receiver, you can see where these screws are and that there are some burrs on here which can, will you know, interfere with the movement of the bolt. So I've got a little round, um, round stone and the thing is to get in here and just to smooth that nicely and remove any burrs around where those screws have come through. Right, you can use a little bit of wet and dry paper where I, the round stone fits nicely into the recess there and um, we can remove any of those burrs there. All right, so we've got the mounting on here now. Now it's, it hasn't got the final uh, locking pins or these screws in yet, but we want to see that everything's fitting correctly. So, um, you know, we can put the other part of the mount in position and lock it in and see that it's, it's sitting, you know, nice and straight as it should be um, on the top of the receiver. And of course, with this mounting, uh, it can be shimmed and adjusted for elevation with these uh, various screws and so on, which we'll do at the end. But we want to make sure everything's going to fit together. So now I want to see, we are going to have to inlet in the stock for where this mounting fits down in the stock. So before we finalize the lockings, pins and so on, we want to make sure everything's fitting correctly. So I'm going to move now on to fitting this into the stock and uh, check that, that everything is on uh, going to plan. Okay, we're, we're fitting this into a Promark Archangel uh, stock. But the similar applies to wooden stock or whatever. So in the original um, stock, there's no cutout here. But now we've got the mounting, so we're going to have to cut a little piece out of the uh, out of the stock to allow this to sit down into it. Okay, so we've removed the mount, but we can, um, with the receiver back in the stock, we can look down and see the line up of the screw holes and then we're just drawing around the edge of it where we're going to cut it out. Um, we'll do it around here. You can see exactly what needs to be removed. Not very much. Okay, so now we're just finishing off the cutout by filing it. Just have to do a little bit at a time to make sure we get a nice fit. I'm just using a little pocket knife just to finish off, shave off little burrs on the plastic on the edges here. Pocket knife does a great job.